we got a friend back here. We don't we don't really get elk too much um, this high up. <coughs> hey. She doesn't seem to much mind Shiva and all her racket. Looks like she's eating moss that grows right at the base of the tree. And there's probably a lot of it out there right now because it's been raining a lot. Okay guys, I've said it before. This is my project today. And it is, let's see, 8.08. I may not finish until tomorrow, but it's Sunday morning. And um, we had bought a whole lot more totes when we needed to move everything for the flooring to get put in. Flooring. Um so I have a lot, probably like eight empty, large empty totes out in the garage. And I'm going to start packing this stuff up and taking it out to my building. Uh, because that couch over there goes in the office. And I am sick of it being there. It is just too much furniture for this small living room. And I like to be able to fully see out the window. So, yeah. All right, guys. Here it is. Let me turn the light on. Oh, that's the outdoor light. How about this light? Okay. So, the oil wax is still not completely dry. But Honey just loves how this came out. And one of the things we talked about was if we had done this piece, see how much the oil wax still has to dry. And it's been a week. I did distress it. And I did use dark oil wax. I have not oiled in here because I don't have enough oil wax. So I'm ordering some more. But one of the things that we discussed was what kind of price we would put on that if we put it in the booth. And um, he just loves this. And this is definitely very Denver Mountain kind of, you know, a statement piece sort of item you know you, you don't buy a piece like this with matchy matchy all the pieces because he was like you need to paint this and you need to paint that and you need to make it all match and I'm like no 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 this is a statement piece so if we had put this in the booth which obviously we don't have a booth right now <laughs> um I, I would probably put this at a thousand dollars it's a beautiful heavy quality made piece of furniture we got it for free it was like, just come and get it. And then they threw in some beautiful china. And um, yeah, so I told him, I said, this is my plan with my building. And that is to get pieces done that can be statement pieces in people's homes and have a back stock so that when they call us and tell us there's a booth space available, boom, we got enough stuff to fill it up. So it's been kind of difficult lately, um, traveling a lot to visit my mom and um, the wedding coming up and things like that. And work has just been, you know, it's just been nonstop. We're doing 25 to 27 dogs a day and business is just off the charts. So, you know, things have been real busy and he has not been able to work on my building. So that's why I'm going to pile all that stuff that's in there into the building until he's ready to do it. 
Oh my gosh, we got these new lamps. That one's not plugged in yet, but look at this one. Isn't it stinking cute? And it has a charging port for your phone. It has this little nightlight. So you can turn off the big light and just have the nightlight. So, yeah, last Sunday, honey, um, broke the big lamp that we had there. It was like an antler lamp, and I, I really didn't like it. Um, in the old house, it was perfect because the old house had cathedral ceilings and a, a big lamp like that worked out. But in this house, we needed a smaller lamp. So I got these two and I think they're just adorable and they go so well with the bear mugs. All right. Well, that's it for now. We'll see what kind of progress I can make. Well, honey brought in my fall tote. So, oh, excuse me, Shiva. Anyway, that's on the agenda for tomorrow. And here's what I managed to accomplish. It is almost one. So I still have to unload those two totes. They go into the hutch that I painted. And then just, I mean, there's just a few little loose ends. So I'll show you again when I'm all done. Ooh, we're having a little bit of hail. Well, guys, I'm back in San Antonio. At the airport. It's 1:15 in the morning. from a run. Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a video. I really love this piece. And how it turned out. But there is a wedding happening in less than two weeks, if you recall. They are still working on this Bronco. I don't even care to tell you how many dollars have been invested in this Bronco to get it ready for this wedding. And on top of that, they are going to be taking that down the hill today. So they got a get that uncovered. I got to get all the linens and everything. The groomsmen are going to stay in the camper. Are you people going to have this thing ready in less than two weeks? Yeah, we're trying. No, are you going to? We are trying. You have to be like Francis Underwood, Blake. You work on cars. It's very frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who Francis Underwood is? No. I thought you watched House of Cards. Yeah, it doesn't mean I know who individual people are. He was the president. <laughs> I wonder who should see you right now to know you know all about cars. Oh, I'm not going to say it on camera. It took a while, but the wild, wildflowers finally started popping up. I 
I mean, such an array of different kinds. I, I just, I mean, and they're all up the hill. It's hard to, there we go. So, yeah, pretty soon there's going to be snow covering all of it. There's a purple one. I mean, I probably planted these seeds too late. It was probably June. Probably need to plant these next year beginning of May. But yeah, it's starting to drizzle a little bit. Gray skies. We're supposed to have rain for a solid week. These guys aren't very happy right now, but they will be once they start getting water. And look at these. These aspen trees randomly, not just here, but also back over there coming up and I planted this little garden of succulents and they were doing really good but now that I'm out here I'm seeing like that one's not happy I've got some more over here these guys won't come back next year they're annuals but anyway I have lots to Lots to tell you guys. Um, my mom got her very first full night's sleep uh, night before last. So that was fantastic news. She got a new bed and um, she was able to finally get, I mean, in two months, she was able to get one night's sleep. So... Yeah, that's great news. A lot going on with that. Um, lots of plans and um, scheduled our Airbnb for Thanksgiving. And the kids are going to be there. And then I have a trip planned where Savannah's going to be there. Oh my goodness, there is a hummingbird. Where is it? Can you see it? Oh, look at it. Oh, there it is. And then, um, I'm also going to have a trip planned with Savannah and Rihanna. So, lots of plans. Hey guys, it's Monday. It's 9-11. It's been a... It's been a weekend for me. I just have really been really upset about my mom. And I got out some Christmas paper pads and thought, okay, maybe, maybe I can get lost in some crafting. And they're still in. Yeah, no, not happening. But I do want to show you what oh, the dogs messed up the rug. But look. Do you remember this room? This used to be the <laughs> catch-all of all the junk room. And now, like, somebody could actually come and stay in here. And um, the wedding is in less than two weeks now. And, um, yeah, so Honey's got his office back. So we're real happy about that. The sun's out right now, which is kind of weird because it's been raining all day. And it's supposed to rain all week. So we're hoping that things get all bright and green at the wedding site and that it stops raining. Oh, here come the guys. Hey guys, it is uh, September 12th and um, I had a really rough weekend thinking about my mom and I talked to her both um, Sunday and Monday and she didn't sound good. Um, I have talked to her before where she sounded amazing, so she does have good days and bad days, and um, I just, you know, it was just a bad weekend. Um, <clears throat> however, 
I am really going to try because Shiva, um, I think my mom would love it because I am such a crafty person and my mom was very artistic. She wasn't crafty like with paper, but she painted and she did acrylics and oil paints. Anyway, she loved it. She would call me before the stroke and she would say, are you crafting today? Are you making beautiful cards today? And I just have not had any desire, motivation. Um, creativity's gone out the window since she had the stroke. Um, but I'm gonna try real hard to get into doing some crafting again because I think it would make her happy. And I wanna... <sighs> so, anyway, I'm gonna use... Um, this beautiful paper it's called Christmas vibes and I'm cutting it up and um, figuring out how I'm gonna do my cards and I'm just gonna try to pour some of my heart into crafting again um, we have a trip planned today's the 12th um, I'm flying out on the 29th my cousin and my brother are going to meet me there and we're all staying in an Airbnb um, and we're all gonna visit my mom that weekend and then I don't come back till Tuesday so I get an extra two days with her um, with my cousin so um, yeah probably you guys didn't even know I had a brother <laughs> but I do and um, we've never been close and you know, the way I feel about it right now is that, you know, we may have never been close, but <clears throat> if now's the time for us to um, pull together and be there for my mom, then so be it. So, all right, guys, the wedding. The wedding is in less than two weeks now. <coughs> So, I know I haven't been vlogging regularly, but there's going to be a lot of wedding stuff because I want to um, have all those memories to keep. And, um, yeah. So, be ready for that. That's coming up. All right. I'm out. See you guys soon. I love your comments. I love your encouragement. And I appreciate it. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.